In this video, we'll be looking how to use auditing tools. Let's see how to go for precedence and decedence and also we can use how to evaluate a formula. Let's see that. If you see, I have a formula auditing sheet where I have written some data. This the products, I have written some quantity, I have written some price and the total I have written and also I have written some the tax. How do I calculate it? Now just to understand, to make you understand what exactly how they are connected. These are the quantity multiplied by price. I've got the total. So once I click, double click on this, I've got as B2 multiplied by C2 and entirely I've done the same thing. Now this total is multiplied by some particular tax that is for per 100 tax is 8 percentage. So for 3000, the percentage has become as 246. So once I double click on this place, you see I've multiplied this total with this particular tax that is 8 percent and I've got the answer as this one. So I'm just trying to show that there are some columns which are interconnected among each other. Still, if you have a doubt, you don't understand how they are connected. You can go to this place. You can go to this formulas and you can see that there's an option known as show formulas. Show formulas will show you all the formulas in the sheet. So once you click on that, you see all the formulas, whichever are written in the sheet are visible. So there are no formulas here. If you see there are formulas written here, you see this color you can remember the red color and the blue color. So it says this is the red color, this is the blue color. Similarly, they have multiplied these two cells. They are resembled by color. If you want to understand how the tax is calculated, you see there's a total multiplied by that is a percentage given here and they have got the answer. So just to easily to understand, but now using this show formulas, you see all the formulas in the sheet. But how do you want to understand without using that function show formulas? If you want to understand, I'll just keep my cursor here and I want to find out the precedence. That means what are the different cells which are used for this formula. So I'll go to this formulas tab and if you see there's a first option that is trace precedence. I'll keep, keep my cursor here. It says the two dots and arrows. That means for this cell there are two, form, uh, two cells which are used. right? Similarly, if I want to understand for this cell, what are the two cells or three cells which are used? I'll keep my cursor and click on this trace precedence. It says for this cell, this cell number that is D2, D3 and cell number A7, B7 is used. So I'll just double click and check whether it's properly done or not. Yes, you see that's these are the two different cells which are used, right? If I do not want that, the arrows, I can just click on this remove arrows option and the arrows will be removed. Now, I'll just take one more example. I'll keep my cursor. Want to understand this cell is been calculated based on which two different options or let's say this one, right? I know that this cell number that is E4 is used by this cell number and this B7. So I'll just click on this trace precedence. Now if I want to go more detail into it, it says that cell number D4 is used. Now D4 exactly came from which cell? So I'll just again press on this trace precedence. Once I click on that, it will go in detail, minute detail to understand how it came. Now I do not want, I'll just remove arrows. Now let's see the next one that is uh, trace dependence. In this cell number that is cell number B4, it has nothing, no formula. But where is this cell number used? In which areas? So I'll, I'll just click on this option that is trace dependence. Click on this place. It says this cell number is used in the cell number D4, right? So actually it is used. If I double click, you see that's a B4 is used in this cell number D4. I'll press escape. Now if I want to go more detail into it, how and which places are used indirectly. So I'll click on this trace dependence. It says even this cell is used in this place. So indirectly I'm using cell number B4 at all the places. And once you do not want it back, you can just make it clear option that is remove all arrows. So this way you, you know, you can understand which areas and which uh, cell numbers are used using formulas uh, that is trace precedence and trace dependence and the show formulas will show you all the formulas in the sheet and you can understand it, right? There's one more function. I'll just try to tell you if you want to understand which formula is used in the cell and you want it written in some place without using show formulas. So there's a formula known as formula text and you have to give the cell number. Imagine I want to understand cell number E2, what is the formula written? So I'll type here equal to formula text and I'll select the cell number that is E2 and close the bracket. So whatever formula is used or function is used, once I press enter, I'll get the answer over here. So it says $B, $7 multiplied by D2 is used here and so on the other formulas. So that is function used to get the formulas written in particular cell, right? Formula text. So I hope you are able to understand. Let's see the next one, a simple example for evaluate a formula. Now, if you see on the screen, I have written some calculation equal to 8 multiplied by 2 plus 9 minus 8 by 4 or some calculation written here. And the answer for the calculation is written as here in this place that is 23. 
Now, if you see the same thing is written, it is difficult for me to understand how they have used this all the formula which they have given the first preference. If you remember in the previous classes, we have seen how to use for the board mass, right? And uh, similarly, but I want to understand how it has done. So there's an option known as evaluate formula. I have named the sheet also evaluate formula. Where do you have to go for that? So you can go for that in the formulas tab. And if you see, there's an option as show formulas, show formulas, not show formula, sorry, that is evaluate formula. So in this evaluate formula, if you see the dialog box, same function or same formula is written here, which they have calculated. Now, if I want to understand which they have used earlier itself. So you see, there's a small underline, which is uh, underlined for these two numbers that is eight multiplied by two. So that, that will be first calculated. Now, if I click on this evaluate formula, you see, I've got the answer. Now, instead of going for the next calculation, it is saying as 16 plus nine is calculated first. Similarly, I'll click on evaluate. And now you might be surprised to understand it didn't calculate 25 minus eight, but it calculated eight divided by four because division is given the preference first. And I'll click on evaluate. Now it has said as 25 minus two and click on event. So this way you can get step by step the calculation which preference it is giving in this formula. So board mass is applied here and I click on close. So this way you can understand if you are if you are not expert into that board mass, you can understand how it has calculated and you can get the answers in this place. So I hope you have understood how to go for evaluate formula and formula auditing for precedence, dependence and show formulas and remove the arrow keys. That's all for this video.